Before we go any farther, we need to cover the fact that After Effects needs other applications. Now, don't get me wrong, you could actually use it just by itself, but in order to really get the most out of After Effects, you need to use it in tandem with other programs such as Photoshop, Illustrator, or others. After After Effects CS3 Essential Training was released, I had a lot of users contact me saying that they were frustrated or confused because I would refer to programs like 3ds Max or Photoshop or Illustrator, Premiere, Final Cut, whatever, and they had not used those programs and so they were frustrated. But by very nature of the name After Effects, the purpose of After Effects is to take stuff from other programs, whether it's video from a video editing program or graphics from Illustrator or Photoshop, and then animate them or do whatever after the fact, hence the name After Effects. After Effects is never intended to be a program that you start and end the workflow with. In this case, in After Effects, I have this logo treatment that I've created. We'll be looking at this and animating it a little bit later on in the training series. And this is made up from a star that I created in Photoshop some other art elements that I brought in from Adobe Illustrator and brought them together, composited and animated in After Effects. And that's actually a very standard workflow. I might have brought in an audio track from Sound Booth or Audition or Logic or Reason. You also might bring in video from Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or from any one of a number of sources. And so in this training series, we're gonna be looking at a whole lot of source material. And you might look at something like this and say, wow, that's really cool. I'd like to be able to make something that looks like this. But the skills to make this are primarily from Illustrator and Photoshop, not from After Effects. Now, the good news about all this is that lynda.com has some amazing Illustrator and Photoshop training, video and audio training as well, and also 3D training for that matter. So anything you want to bring to the table to use in After Effects, you can learn how to use on the online training library on lynda.com. The other good news is that you don't have to know these programs or even know what they do to use After Effects in this training series. I'm not going to expect that you've even opened Photoshop before. But people in the real world that use After Effects oftentimes use a whole slew of applications to get their source material, or as we call it, assets. Next, we're going to be looking at another important aspect of using After Effects, and that is using reference material.